I have always dreamed of sailing. I'm a son of a sailor. My dad loved to sail, but as a young boy, I always saw sailing as slow and boring. It wasn't until I became an adult, in retrospect, that I began to understand my father's passion for sailing as I became mindful of the energies that pulled me back to the water. I recall my father saying, if you want to sail big waters, you need at least a 40-foot boat. So after many years sailing, I decided to look for yet another, bigger boat that would take me anywhere in this world that is made up of 71% water. Although I love sailing the Bay of Green Bay in Lake Michigan, I wanted more. For years I looked at boats like most men would look at a woman. I was drawn to the lines of a beautiful sailboat, the cut of her sails, and the resiliency of those things that she was made of. I wanted both safety and comfort. I wanted something that I could afford on a social worker's salary. I also learned from my father that there wasn't anything that can't be learned or fixed if you put your mind to it. In 2003, I saw Tranquilo on the internet. It was located in Florida, in San Mateo, at Gibson's Dry Dock for sale. A year went by before I called to inquire. I was told that she was off the market. My heart sunk, realizing that I may have missed a golden opportunity. For the next year, no boat seemed to compare to Tranquilo's features. About six months later, she reappeared on the internet listings. I did not hesitate this time calling the broker at St. Augustine. She was a donated vessel by her owner to the Orange Coast Sailing School. At the time, my mother was wintering in St. Augustine, about 26 miles from the boat yard on the St. John's River. My father had passed three years prior. I remember driving down the overgrown winding road and down a narrow steep hill overhung by huge oaks with moss dripping down over the gravel and potted driveway. I recognized Tranquilo immediately. I was surprised how beautiful she was. I was even more surprised to hear that she was a sort of an icon in the yard, sitting there for nearly 20 years on the hard. I walked around, climbed aboard, stood on her deck, and looking at her length and girth, and thinking to myself, this is a big freaking boat, followed by that feeling of nausea. I knew that I was going to put in an offer. It wasn't the first time saying these words for me, this was a huge boat. Every time I approach her or climb aboard, to this day, I still tell myself, this is a big frickin' boat. So this is what I learned about her. Tranquilo is a Tom Colvin design, customized by her original owner. I believe she's a Saugan Witch, which is 34 feet, stretched out to 41 foot length on the deck. She was built in 1976 at Greenwich Yachts, British Columbia. She is made of a quarter inch aluminum, 41 feet length overall on deck, 12 feet 4 inches beam, and 5 foot draft. She comes in weighing at 27,000 pounds gross dry weight. Originally she was rigged as a gaff rig cutter. Later, while on the heart, her mast was lengthened to become a Marconi rig cutter catch. I did buy her in 2004 and have been sailing and working on her for the past 14 years. During that time, I spent a lot of my energies painting, scraping, cleaning, learning how to sail a catch, learning how all the sails worked, and after the years I stretched my legs and wings and started to explore more of the Lake Michigan and Green Bay area. I learned to sail hard and fast, I learned what she could do, and I was feeling more and more comfortable with her. Over the years, I started making Tranquilo mine. I remodeled the settees, taking the pilot berths behind the bench, narrowing them to give more room for the seat. I reupholstered the inside. I moved the head from the port side to the starboard side, making a separate shower area on the port side. You can see the before and after pictures. This picture is when I first looked at Tranquilo, and the next one is how she was after I remodeled, repaneled, and reupholstered her down below. For years, I continued to clean the bilge of oil, fuel oil, and 
clean up the fuel oil leaks that seem to be all over Tranquilo. I realized that the seals in the old Westerbeek 1407. Excuse me, that was 4107. Being on the hard for 20 years, the seals had dr dried out, even though she only had 45 hours on it, being an old lifeboat engine that was converted to the sailboat. I pulled the engine, lift her on the boom, and bought a new Beta 50. The Beta 50 took me from the old Westerbeek 38 horsepower at 3000 RPM to 50 horsepower at 2600 RPM. That was last spring that I put the Westerbeek in. I also added a new maxi prop going from a 22 by 21 inch two blade prop to a 22 inch maxi prop with feathering uh, propellers. Again the boat got a new coat of paint. Thank you to my new partner Linda who's been with me now for eight years. She's been a real worker and go-getter when it comes to cleaning and making Tranquilo a home. Now I'm putting in pressurized hot water in the spring I'll be putting in refrigeration so we can start heading down south now that I'm retired. The plan is to take the boat down the Chicago River late next summer to early fall and take a leisurely trip down the Mississippi to the Tim, Tom Bigsby down to Mobile, Alabama around Key West up the east coast of Florida and over to the Bahamas. Hopefully by this time next year, we'll be in warmer weather and not have to fight the snow.